So my name is Mary Ann McCabe, and I have the privilege of moderating our third panel. Um, and we're excited about this, this, uh, this next shift. Uh, our, our next panel is going to focus on evidence-based um, family-focused preventive interventions that are moving into emerging settings. So one of, the, one of the ways we want you to think about this as we proceed is where some of the opportunities are here, um, and including uh, with funding as we know it, um, and where some of the challenges will be. So we have, we're very uh, fortunate um, to have some of the leaders in this area um, on this panel, and I'm going to introduce them to you briefly now, and again, their biographies are in your materials. So our first, our first speaker for this panel is going to be Mar Margot kaplan Sanoff. Um, she's Associate Professor of Pediatrics at Boston University School of Medicine and Boston Medical Center. Um, she directs the child development training for their pediatric residency program. But importantly for her role with us today, she's also director of the Healthy Steps for Young Children program. Um, uh, she develops the curriculum and parent materials for that, and it's in over 70 sites nationwide. Um, she'll tell us a whole lot more about that work today. I just want to highlight a few of the other things that she's been involved in. Um, she was the director of Pediatric Pathways to Success at Boston Medical Center. She directed Early Matters, a maternal and child health bureau project to, to create brain wonders for, uh, with zero to three. Um, she served as a child development content specialist for the Head Start Quality Initiative. Uh, she was director of Steps for Kids, a family recovery outreach project. And she was assistant professor and co-director of the Birth to Seven training grant at Wheelock College. So we're delighted to have her join us. She has a wealth of experience to bring. Um, Following her will be Ellen Perrin, um, who um, has been a leader in bringing um, development to pediatrics, and in fact, um, helping to create uh, uh, developmental behavioral pediatrics as a subboard specialty. Um, she's currently the research director for the Division of Developmental Behavioral Pediatrics at Floating Hospital for Children at Tufts Medical Center, and a professor of pediatrics at Tufts Medical School. Um, Ellen is going to share with us a very exciting, um, recently completed uh, randomized clinical trial of the incredible years in a primary care setting. So you can see how we're moving from some of the things we heard this morning, but into some more novel settings. Um, Guillermo, or Willie Prado, um, is the Miller Professor of Public Health Sciences and the Director of the Division of Prevention Science and Community Health at the University of Miami's Miller School of Medicine. Um, Willie is a prevention scientist with a lot of experience in health disparities research, intervention science, and the application of advanced statistical methods to intervention science. Um, he's had enormous experience in developing, evaluating, and translating preventive interventions for preventing disease and promoting health among Hispanic youth. Um, he has uh, facilitated the, the seamless integration of evidence-based preventive interventions into communities and um, is a co-investigator in a multi-site translational cooperative agreement uh, collaborating on developing and testing pl implementation strategies um, delivered to youth in the juvenile justice system. So we're going to hear from, from Willie about a, actually a few different service delivery systems. Um, Tom Dishian is the director of the Prevention Research Center and a professor of psychology at Arizona State. His translational program of research involves relationship dynamics in generating and maintaining psychopathology and drug and alcohol use in children and adolescents. What he's going to be talking with us about is the family checkup model um, as a specific intervention strategy that promotes family resilience and reduces stress, risk, I'm sorry. Um, he's leading an effort to support communities and agencies wishing to adopt the family checkup model, so we're going to hear some about that. Um, and um, he's led randomized studies for evaluating the effects of family-centered interventions for his career. So I'm sure you can um, appreciate we have some experts here to get us to start to think about emerging settings for uh, family-focused preventive interventions. And I'll introduce Margot, please. <laughs> 